All right, for example 20, we're going to take g of x equals 2x squared plus 10x minus 2 and find the rate of change for g of x from negative 3 to 0. So we see rate of change, so that implies the rate of change formula, which is g of b minus g of a all over b minus a. So we pull out a and b. The first one here is a, the second one is b. So we need to set this up now. Okay, so we're going to take g, we're going to plug in what b is, and g plug in what a is. Let's erase that. All right, all over whatever b is minus whatever a is. So we said that b was 0 and a was negative 3. So then we have 0 and negative 3 down here. What we need to find out is what g is at 0 and what g is at negative 3. So let's set that up. We're going to find g of 0. So we get 2 times something squared plus 10 times something minus 2. All right, so we plug in 0. 0 squared is 0 times 2 is still 0. 10 times 0 is 0 minus 2. So we get negative 2. Now let's find out what g of negative 3 is. So we take our formula, 2 times something squared plus 10 times that something minus 2. We're going to plug in negative 3. Negative 3 squared, that's 9, times 2 is 18. 10 times negative 3 is negative 30 minus 2. Negative 18 minus, or sorry, 18 minus 30 is negative 12, minus 2 is negative 14. Okay, so we know that g of negative 3 is negative 14. Now we come over here, we plug in those values. g of 0 is 2, sorry, negative 2, minus g of negative 3 was negative 14, all over 0 minus a negative 3. Simplify our signs. Negative negative is a positive. Negative 2 plus 14 is 12. 0 minus a minus 3 turns into a positive, so that's 3. And 12 over 3 is 4. So the rate of change equals 4.